Good morning YouTube. So this is my old Model 270 Dremel Moto Tool and I think this dates from the middle 70s. I actually got one of these when I was a kid. I think it was a Christmas present one year and I used that for quite a while and one day I was running this tool not this exact one but apparently the brushes wore out. I didn't know that at the time that brushes were prone to wearing out and it didn't quite explode but the brushes wore out and the commutator ring inside got chewed up so I took it back down to the hardware store in town and they sent it back to Dremel and they sent me back a new one I think I had to pay some nominal amount for the replacement unit but this is the one I got back and I've probably had this 35-40 years and it still works, but this is the old style, just on off, no speed control. And then probably about 30 years ago, this is the, the original uh, flex shaft. You can see here, it's not the newer model, this was the old original model, Dremel flex shaft 225 model. And I know it's the older model because it doesn't have the push button up here to lock the, the chuck. So what you have to do, this one's a little hard to use because you've got to lock the chuck back at the tool. So you, you have this screwed on here, you lock the chuck, and then you've got to turn this here. So like I say, it's a little inconvenient, but apparently that new chuck locking pin is a cause of problems on the newer model so actually I think the older model is much uh, more reliable there's no collet inside the tool like you would normally have there's just this collet nut and it's got a square hole in the end and then the end of the flex shaft has a square drive on the end of it and then that just screws in here yeah, so here we go. I've got the coupler nut screwed on there. I've got a flat disc sanding wheel in the flex shaft here, and you can see I can turn on turn on the switch here. But it makes it rather difficult to use. Number one, it's it's high speed only, and then you've got the switch here, and you've got you know one hand holding the flex shaft. You got to do the other hand on the switch. I have a, a new modern moto tool with the variable speed. Yeah, so here's my newer, this is a model 395 type 5. The Dremel Multi Pro has the variable speed built in, but I use that a lot uh, with the variable speed. It's pretty nice to use by itself. So I was kind of looking at this. I've got this old moto tool that still works, but it's not very user friendly with just the single speed. The flex shaft is kind of nice, but it's not very user friendly again. And so what I did, let me show you what I got here today. So this package just showed up today from eBay. There's a listing for, I think this is called a Fordham foot pedal switch. Okay, there we go. Got rid of the packing peanuts. And inside, yeah, so it's a Fordham an FCT1 foot speed control and they say these are supposed to work with the Dremel so let me plug this in and I want to see if it actually works okay so the way these units work they have two power cords so I have this power cord plugged into the wall and then I take this power cord and plug it in here so that's my power cord for the Dremel and let's see I'm going to turn it on because you just leave the tool on and I've got the flex shaft and this would of course be on the floor oh yeah okay one thing I wanted to check first is see if there's any standby power consumption with this foot pedal got my power meter on the supply 120 volts and this one is reading six tenths of a watt no load so let me plug that in and that's 
good to see there's no standby power but then if I hit the uh, foot switch yeah there we go it goes up to like 25 watts 45 about 100 watts on full throttles I like that it's got a real physical switch contact in there that when it's off it's completely off so I can just leave this right here plugged in all the time and it takes no standby power at all that was another thing I wanted to find out because I want to leave this plugged in all the time leave the foot pedal on the floor and then when I need it I can just step on it and I can always turn the moto tool off turn its switch off and that way if you accidentally step on the foot switch it's not powering anything in fact I can just do that here turn the moto tool off and now if I step on the switch oh look at that it doesn't do anything if there's no load on it it doesn't use any power at all that's kind of neat okay there we go YouTube got the uh, old moto tool hanging from a hook up on my cabinets over my workbench and I can bring my flex shaft up here and I've got the foot pedal on the floor and there you go that works pretty good that'll work really well and I can just drop the flex shaft down and it hangs down beside the workbench kind of out of the way but yeah the thing still works Dremel Manufacturing Company Racine Wisconsin you know they make good stuff so that's my old Dremel and an almost as old flex shaft and a new foot speed controller from Fordham definitely a thumbs up for all that if you enjoyed that video you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like that link in the lower right corner there if you have any questions about that old motor tool put that down in the comment section below the video description and as always thanks for watching